Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on Living Simply with Jessica Harris. And I am your host, Jess, and today we are back with day two of our 21 days of affirmations. So I don't know about you, but yesterday I was pumped. So I am even more pumped about today, y'all. But before we do, I wanted to get into some quick housekeeping. If you didn't already got your complimentary ebook of the Affirmations Journal, See the Beauty from Within, go ahead and click the description box link there and grab your copy so you can go ahead and follow us over the next 21 days. I'm super pumped, super excited. I hope you have your journals with you. I hope you have a pen nearby so you can take down these gems that we are getting ready to drop. All right, enough about that. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. So today's affirmation is, I am choosing me. Yes, y'all heard it. I'm choosing me. And I really and truly hope that you are choosing you too because you deserve it. So here is our bonus for the day. Taking care of yourself is vital. Choosing to take care and love on you is necessary. Are you the friend who's always encouraging other people? If you are, that's fabulous. I was that friend. I'm so that friend. And I had to learn that by doing so, I needed to make sure that I was getting poured back into as well. And that's my question. How often are you speaking life into yourself? Because as a person who pours out, you have to be able to pour back into you too. And that's a biggie because I think there's times where we have all this encouragement or we're just like this optimistic person and we want to make everybody's day better. At least I did. And I would just pour and pour and pour until there were days where I'm like, I'm so tired, y'all. I don't have nothing else to give. And the reason for that was because I didn't have anything else to give. I wasn't pouring back into myself. I wasn't encouraging myself. I wasn't filling my tank up, y'all. And I promise you, just like a car that can only go but so far until it's like fully empty, the same things happen to us as well. So we have to make sure that we're filling up our tanks. And for me, I'd say do this on a daily basis. Do it consistently. And not just on a daily basis, you know, with just the affirmations. But you can do that with positive books that you read. You can do that with positive videos that you're watching. You can do that by changing out the circle of friends that you keep. The way that you keep your life set up with positivity, the more you'll start to see it influence in other areas of your life. And not only that, but you'll start to realize just how motivated you are to getting things done because everybody around you is doing something. It's so critical to have those important parts of your life in place. That being said, that's why it's super important to choose you and to honor yourself. Honor the commitments that you make to yourself. Honor your time. Honor your value. Honor your worth, right? Honor your self-care. You can't take care of you, excuse me, you can't take care of others if you haven't had the chance to take care of you first. And even when people be like, oh, well, you're being selfish because of X, Y, and Z, you know what? Tell them, yes, yes, I am. I am being selfish because I know that if I am not selfish, then I can't help you out. It's that simple. And sometimes being selfish means setting up healthy boundaries. When we look at the fact of choosing me, that means that you're not just taking care of your mental health. You're taking care of your spiritual health, your emotional health, your physical health. There's so many factors when it comes to choosing you. And we want to make sure that we're setting up the right parameters for it. We want to make sure that we're setting up the right expectations that go with it. We're wanting to make sure that everybody who is around us understands that if I am not doing what needs to be done for me to run, effectively or efficiently, then you can't use me the way that you need to. Which means that if you're looking for me to be that best friend who you can call at all hours of the day and tell me your problems, I can't be that friend if I'm not filled up. Why? Because then I won't have the capacity to hear your problems. 
And that might lead me to say some things that I don't want to say, but that's honest, right? That's honest because those who can listen like that are people who have been able to fill their tanks up. They're people who have been able to offset some of their things that they're going because they're pouring in the right things back into them. It takes time to cultivate that space. Sometimes you'll get it right away and sometimes it may take time and that's okay because when you choose you, it's not going to be a one-time thing. It should not be a one-time thing. Choosing you should be a journey. Choosing you should be an adventure of you finding the things that work best for you and then watching the practical applications of those things that you are learning take place in your life and then watching the fruits of it grow. Y'all, there's power in what we speak over ourselves. There is power in the way that we maintain ourselves. There is power when we decide to finally choose us. I promise you, there is power in that, but you have to be willing to say, you know what? I choose me. Be selfish. I choose me. And yes, there is obviously a bad version of selfish, y'all. That's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about the selfish person who chooses them first, knowing that they can't do what is called of them until they fill their tanks up first. Know the difference and don't be an instigator. Thank you. Anyways, so this is the next part for y'all. I want you to go ahead and repeat after me. These are the affirmations that I want you to be saying before you go to bed, when you wake up in the morning, and how I want you to really start to position your mind a little bit differently. And again, if you have the affirmations journal, you already have these. But for the sake of those who don't, I want us to really practice these out loud. So this is it. It says, I am choosing me. Taking care of myself is vital. I am choosing to take care of me and love on me daily. I am surrounding myself with people who love me and people who encourage me. I am speaking life over myself and my situation. I am canceling negative thoughts that try to invade my mind. I deserve I deserve to take care of myself. Taking care of myself is necessary for my mental health, my emotional health, my spiritual health, and my physical health. I am taking the time I need to reset myself so I can be a better me to those that I love. And that's the end for today day number two affirmations journey so i hope that this resonates with you if there's any comments you have go ahead and drop them in the comment section below definitely share this with someone that you know who needs a little bit of encouragement in their lives and then i hope to find you back on the next episode on day three for our daily affirmations on our 21 day journey thank you and have a great day everybody I need you to go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to need you to turn your bell notifications on. And don't forget to like and share the messages 